town, doesn't matter where you live, and finding a little secret haven. Well, this is not just a secret haven. This is something really interesting because it's stuck away from an industrial estate in Logan. And it's a coffee shop selling the finest coffee that I've ever smelt. I'm about to taste it. Um, so, can't wait to speak to the proprietor, Alex, to tell me all about it because uh, this, truly, guys, this place is unique. That looks lovely. Look at that. And I, I think it's so wonderful they decorate the coffee now. Well, we need their eyes, don't we? Yeah, we certainly. Let me just say that when I came on here this morning, I came down here this morning, I was expecting to sort of drive onto an estate to have my car serviced or something like that. And suddenly I turn up in this little coffee haven. How did it all start? Um, my partner and I, we've lived in Logan for over 20 years. And I started working in the coffee industry back in 2012. I refined my love for coffee and I found out there was nowhere here in Logan to go. So we made the leap of faith, my partner and I, and we sold it we own. Got a building. When I first time I saw this building, I was just thought, nah, it's never going to work, it's never going to be in the space. And the more I thought about it, it wasn't about the location, it was about what we do with it. And what we wanted to do was create a destination and serve great coffee, good food, put hospitality back into hospitality, and we have a city that is renowned for being hospitable. I discovered that when I moved to Logan 20 years ago. It hasn't changed so many years. Wow, wow, wow. So it's about the timing, but more importantly, I, I find it fascinating that you were able to convince one another. I didn't know whether it was your partner, what's her name? Heather. Heather. I yeah. said her name, it could have been him. Well, it? let's not judge. No, let's not judge. No, you can't judge at all. Love so, is loving. I love this. <laughs> I love you too. Really. <laughs> so I can imagine you and Heather. I mean, that's a big commitment. Selling up everything, you know, at a time ago. So what age were you guys? Um, in your I, 20s, 30s? No, wouldn't that be nice? I was um, 54 when we decided to sell everything and do this. Wow. And fortunately, I'm a wonderful salesman, so we had the board into it, yeah. expecting fame and fortune. Um, it will come eventually, but we've probably got a lot of years ahead of There's time. going to be a lot of people out there, Alex, that's going to identify with you, thinking, I've got to my stage in life now, I've had a career, but you know what, this is my passion, this is what I want to do. And I mean, that's fantastic. And. Uh, did, did, did you have any sleepless nights or was it straight away from the start you just knew this, this, this was going to work? I think it was when we first started, it was a dream and then the dream grew and I bought into it. Yeah. And you know, when you start something and it starts to get like a snowball, it, one of two things happen, either you get off or you got to ride that snowball to the bottom of the hill. Sure, sure, and that's sure. what we did. And sure. like, you know, thank you God for yeah. putting this through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little roller coaster yeah, ride, isn't it? So. Well, I saw when I walked in here. When I was uh, sort of developing as a chef, I remember going into a restaurant and seeing the chefs for the very first time cooking within view of the restaurant. It was wonderfully exciting. The fire, the smoke, the arguments and everything. I noticed this amazing coffee machine. Tell me about that, Alex. I've not seen that before. Well, this is the first machine installed anywhere in the world. There are a few others around Australia, mm -hmm. but it was basically designed by a guy in the Netherlands, financed by a startup company. And there's a gentleman here in Australia who's really a bit of a world authority on machine technology and how it works. And we're building this machine right now here in the South East Queensland. Um, we were just at MICE, the Melbourne International Coffee Expo. Um, they're looking for export now to Taiwan, China, Korea, throughout Asia, Europe, Saudi, the more in the United States, Europe and other places. So it's interesting that you know, come from a very small seed is germinating in stuff and it can make a difference in the world. Yeah. The beauty of this machine though is it takes away that wall. It's a bit like the open kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. We want people to see the theatre of what we do. And why do we love what we do? You know, when I was the coffee shop floors and you see those lovely streams of coffee dropping in the cup, I'm thinking about how to make it taste. You see that lovely crema on the top, you know, that crema, do you call it crema? Crema. 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 you see the crema, you see it form, you see it settle, the few last drops. Oh, yeah. well you need a bit of George Clooney, you're in heaven, you? Well, I think George Clooney probably oversells just a little. Does he really? Oh, little. God, I think I could do a better job. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah, you could do it. I think we could. Yeah, put it there. How so. do you like it? <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs>